uh, Amy, thanks very much. We're talking shadow boxes. You know what shadow boxes are? I know what they are. They're my drawers. That's what they are. And they're my plastic bins, and they're in my garage. Uh, but uh, whether you want to commemorate a special event or just keep the dust off of those mementos, a shadow box is a great way to show off the treasures. Here to show us how it's done, lifestyle contributor Autumn Rio. Okay, I, I must admit, these are pretty neat ways of uh, taking things out of a drawer if, if they're special to you. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think the most important thing is is that you want to take those things that may seem they were special at the you know at the time when right. you got married or you had an anniversary and then you know later on like you said they end up in a box and you're like you pull them out when you move things and you get that moment and you're like oh yeah. but you could have that every day if you just take a little and, bit of time and here. this is yours and this would be in a drawer somewhere absolutely uh, it actually it was in a drawer was it was in a box so yep. this is actually my mother's booties and this was the dress that my grandmother came home from the hospital in when wow. she was born and then this is a picture of her actually in the dress and when my daughter was born um, a couple of years ago it's actually about to be her birthday we put this all in here as kind of a gift into her nursery and uh -huh. so it's a great way you know every time I walk in I can think about my mother think about my grandmother and of course I have my daughter there so it's a great way to kind of mark our lineage oh that's real nice yeah, absolutely. And, and now uh, speaking from a guy's point of view a, jer <laughs> a jersey in one of those absolutely. Just <laughs> you can put what you know whatever sometimes it's golf balls and it was that yeah. first time that you got you know your hole in one and you can just take those little things here yeah. this was actually a gift that I gave to my husband. Um, I had, you can have a uh, Texas flag flown over the Capitol um, for a small donation, and then they'll give this little certificate oh, to you. Neat. So I'll put this in there. He's a big, huge history buff. Oh, that's so I cool. wanted to make and sure and put this, this in there. This one comes from producer Melissa. Is that what yes, I hear? Yes, this is Melissa's. Isn't it beautiful? That's her wedding. So these are her gloves. This is her something blue. This is the napkins on the oh. table. Here's the boutonniere. Here's the corsages. And then, of course, here's her invitation. You spend so much money for a wedding, and then you end up putting it in a picture frame, or you put it in, you know, a, a box or something. Right. So why not put those special things that really mean I, something? I see to the you. little shrimp hors d'oeuvres still stained on those gloves. Oh yeah, and that's, that's the nice. truth. And you okay. know, I have to say, to this one and to this one, you really do want to make sure it, these were both professionally done here, and that's because you want to make sure the air, because of course these are old articles, of course oh. the flowers and things like that. You know, you certainly want sure. to make sure that you don't have any issues of that. This, this is yours also, huh? This one was mine um, as well. There's a tradition. My husband and I were married mm -hmm. in, in Mexico, mm -hmm. and so there's a tradition about this little box here and they do this on their wedding and then there's 13 coins in there so we put those little things again it would have been a little trinket a jewelry box but I put the tradition on there and this is something that sits on our fireplace Very so it's cool. a little memento and this one is nice too this one we're actually putting together here because I want to show how easy it is to put something you know like you said just pull it out of sure. you know cleaning here and this my husband just uh, graduated from law school so Congratulations. again you know huge memento there yes. and you know wanted to make sure that we mark that so we just have this was the sash that he actually you know wore here mm -hmm. And so we put this, instead of having it in a box or sitting on a hanger, we've taken the tassel here, and then I have his picture, and then this was just actually what they put the diplomas in when they hand them to him. So Look we put all these is. things together, all right, very good. and then just, you know, put that in a frame, all right. and then, you know, just kind of put that there, cool. and then and get out your screwdriver. Gig them. And so we're <laughs> going to uh, we're gonna make one here for back to school, right? Yes, and I want to show again, you know, how simple it is. This is a frame right now, I can totally tell you, because I spent a lot of time at Michael's last night. They have their shadow boxes on sale right now for 40% off. So okay. if you've got a whole bunch of things, you know, that you want to from the summer, maybe seashells because you took a trip, that would be a great example. Okay. So what we've done here, because again, for, uh, the Melissa, the producer here, she has a, a, two, a second grader who's going to school. And so mm -hmm. we're going to do something to commemorate that back to school. So this is a little wooden. Um, they have these there. You can like for a dollar and you can paint these here. Mm -hmm. And then these are school supplies. I mean, again, these are small trinkets, but again, we want to mark something that's really important to you. And again, and, you know, having your little second grader there, you can take um, a little note there. And these are all things that you can just go and find those mementos. Maybe it's, you know, a little picture. It's something, uh, that little post-it note that you have from the first day of school. It says, you know, I love you, Mom. And then these are little scrapbook pieces. So, again, we're taking the scrapbook idea. Again, I'm not a scrapbooker. Uh -huh. um, and then we've made it fun. And then you can take that picture from the first day of school. And speaking of first day of school, yeah. I think we have a shot. Look at that, honey. Here you go. Okay, and then you can good. just use a little tape or, again, these little pins are really really handy too yeah. and you've got a great memento to put on the wall that's different than just that picture frame that's or cool. putting it in that's a box. That's cool. That's really good. Do we have a picture of the first day of school here? No? Okay, but look at that. 
look how look how neat that is. Oh, it isn't the first day of school no, yet. No, we, we've got no it. We've got a little bit, but we've, we've but, prepared it now so we can be on but top I'm of it. I'm sure there's the first grade somewhere floating yes, around. Yes, we got a we've got a first grade, but Melissa it may be Jones. in a box. So okay. again, we can sit there and mark those up. I mean, it's a great. It's the way you know. Mom yeah. challenge is what we're all about. Melissa Solutions Jones the stairway. Fix it. First grade, second grade, third grade, fourth grade. I'm sure she's got them over in a box for me to put them together <laughs> after the show. We'll do them all. <laughs> all right, you can keep uh, up with Autumn and all of her ideas on MamaChallenge.com. Here's what's coming up.